Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And oh boy, oh boy, Czechoslovakian light tank uh, line is quite a disappointment, okay? Okay, um, quick information. Uh, what we are going to do next, we are going to test out the tier 8, tier 9, tier 10. Actually, I tested those tanks <clears throat> already, but I need to do a YouTube video as well to showcase the things. I think out of all this line tier 7 and tier 8 are the best and by being the best i'm using this word very loosely uh, i am saying that they are average those tanks over there i don't even want to talk about uh, that yet but trust me the rant is coming well not rant just to say how it is anyways blesk let's go straight into the game and let's try to make it work now one very, very important thing to highlight. Most of the players are going to be very bad with uh, Czechoslovakian light tanks tier 8 and tier 9 and tier 10. The main reason why is it going to happen this way, because over long distance you cannot do anything. You are not superior light tank, so you are, let's say, average as spotting, average as doing damage. Only one good thing what this line has to offer, you can load the high explosive ammunition and you can counter um, lightly armored tank destroyers whenever you are in the close range or you can slap the light tanks. That's the most fun part of this line overall, right? But other than that, fellas, don't think that you are going to... Get this vehicle yourself and you will be able to slap absolutely everyone. It's not the case. By the way, speaking what is the case, today I am going to play with a tier 7 to just simply finish Mark of Excellence on it and we will keep testing uh, um, the tanks that got buffed. We are working on it slowly, but surely there is no such a thing as days off. Um, we, are just, uh, we are just doing what we need to do, let's say like that. Anyways... What we can do here, I'm trying to get into the bush and let me see, is there is a possibility that we could do that or not so much? Obviously I am paying humongous attention at the light tanks if someone would get spotted and as you can see, object one fourth is making a huge pressure. Now, how to say this, this much making is kaku for us. But like proper Kaku, the deepest Kaku you can get. It's not good. Uh, we are bottom tiers in this situation. Uh, we are playing in uh, in a refreshed map, so I do not really know the positions yet. Um, and it is it is a journey, let's say like that. But it's okay. We are big boys. We are going to be fine. We are going to survive. We are going to be okay. Now, what I would love to see. I would love to see enemy... Oh, Yopter, right? I would love to see enemy light tank sitting somewhere around this area as well. But I do not really think it is going to be easy or it's going to be simple. I would not act surprised if this mother trucker is sitting in this bush. But once again, we are just fine. We are enjoying ourselves. And we are doing some exploration, to say that the least. Now... What I would love to see, I would love to see this guy making a silly goose decision, which, look, I cannot do anything for tanks like this. The thing is, if we are meeting a super heavy tank, you do not approach super heavy tank. You just don't. You are just accepting your responsibility and you are trying to run as fast as you physically and possibly can because you do not really have anything to offer and, you know, the higher tier will simply... Uh, or I suppose to say the tank with armor will simply make fun of you and just laugh in your face whenever you are doing your ta 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 That's okay, that's fair. What you want to do, you want to hunt the light tanks or you want to hunt the tanks that do not have that much armor. It's okay to slap the living crap out of your brothers from other mothers. Uh, so Czechoslovakian light tanks. It's okay to slap the ELC even 90 or T90 um, 2. That's completely fine and that's what you can do. But trust me, where the competitive aspect goes, it's just way too situational of the tank. Although it is fun tank to play with, don't get me wrong. Even though it can be um, situational, 
Uh, it can be a bit annoying. It nevertheless it is fun tank to play with or fun line to play with. And I think actually we're gaming nailed it. I think it's not going to be too popular line, honestly speaking. I don't think it is going to be too popular line, okay? Uh, but in the same time, some folks will definitely fall in love with it. And they're going to have the best time ever playing with this line as well. So, where the balance from the gaming side goes, I think they kind of nailed it, honestly speaking. I think where gaming has done a very, very, very good job and they nailed uh, how the things are looking like here. And that is very, very good stuff. Meanwhile, all I want to do, I want to get some spotting in this situation, right? I do not want to get too involved in all of this. I know that it is a complicated situation. I get it. Trust me, I get it. All I want to do is I want to sp keep spotting enemies and I want to make sure that they would regret their life choices whenever they are getting involved or whenever they are making pressure or whenever they are just simply messing up. That's all I want to do. Skill, do you understand that you are losing this game? Absolutely. Yes, fellas. I'm not uh, delusional. I get it how the things are looking like. I understand. But in certain situations, that's all you can do. You can be very, very patient and you can try to support your team in the various um, ways and the best ways. And the best way with this tank is to spot in this matchmaking like this. And once again, we do not need to cry over this. We do not need to complain over this. We, we are staying calm and this is a very good showcase of this line. I hope that we are going to get at least one tier 6 matchmaking in this video so I can show you how much fun it can be whenever the um, stars are aligned and whenever you can go in front like crazy mother trucker and you can just simply slap everyone, right? As an example, I really want to showcase this one. I'm not going to stop. I am going to go for this mother trucker, right? And we need to set up auto aim and oh boy, oh boy, you enjoyed it? Ah, broken the light tank, they say. 13 ELC, even 90 is the broken tank. I will give you broken tank. This is the best what we can do. Okay. How about if we would try to flank enemies this way? I know that there is a light tank sitting somewhere here in the back, or at least they should have light tank sitting somewhere in the back. Actually, you know what? Do I want to reload? Mm, not quite. I don't even want to reload. I want to reload. Okay, hear me out. Waffle. Do you see the waffle? Do you see the waffle, fellas? I really want to show you how much fun this tank can give you. I really want to show you this. Now, this is going to be the best part of this game. Heads down. We are going to get as close as possible and... Cheers, mate. Having a great time. Enjoying yourself. Good to hear that. This is the perfection. This is how you are making this tank work. And this is how you are hunting the tanks that uh, um, simply doesn't have any armor whatsoever. Is it simple thing to do? Absolutely not. Is there is a... Can you do this if you have the knowledge and you have experience and whatnot? Absolutely, yes, you can. And if you will, you are going to have plenty of uh, funny moments, right? But once again, not for a new player, not the easiest uh, lane to play with, and oh boys, oh boys, that's straight up complicated and straight up disgusting. Now, what I am trying to do, uh, honestly speaking, I don't really care. I'm just trying to get as much, uh, as much as I physically and possibly can before I will die. Because I will die, I am aware of that, we are completely fine. Nevertheless, extremely good showcase how this tank feels like beautiful okay
and we are back, unfortunately, with that defeat. But you know what? Mwah. I felt like we played well. 2.6 thousand damage, 1.9 thousand assisting damage. We are first by experience, we are second by the damage. Uh, and we got ourselves 28,000 profits as well. I mean, nothing to complain about, nothing to, nothing bad to say, and we are just simply enjoying ourselves to the maximum, right? Let's keep it up. Skill is begging for tier 6, and skill is getting a solid tier 9. Well, not much what we can change about that. We need to be humble, and we need to accept this. Um, instantly. What we are going to do, we are prioritizing sporting as our gameplay here it's not going to be easy to do damage which is completely fine we are going to be okay obviously my dream is to meet this elc even sitting somewhere over there because i think he should be sitting here and then we would have the blast slapping the living crap out of him but it's not going to be simple first things first okay beautiful okay we are in position this is exactly what I'm looking for, and this is exactly what I need. Now, from this position, we can get plenty of use for ourselves, right? Uh, from this position, we can spot the sniper schnitzel sitting here. Uh, we can spot mother truckers crossing like this. And overall, it can be very, very successful game in this way. I believe we can feel very, very good. By the way, where the penetration goes... With a standard ammunition, you have 160 millimeters of penetration. That's not good. With a gold, you have 217 millimeters of penetration. That's not really good. With a high explosive ammunition, you have 37 millimeters of penetration. But by the way, fellas, not, it's not about penetration. Standard ammunition does 210 hit points per second if you are penetrating everything. It's not even gold, by the way. Just APCRs does 140 hit points per second. So that means one third less. And high explosives are doing twice more damage. So, you know, high explosive. If you can use high explosive ammunition, you are going to have the best time ever. And you are going to enjoy yourself to the maximum. And this is what you want to have. And this is what you want to do. Truly, fellas. This is how you want to play this game and if you can meet someone that you can clip this is what you are looking for it's okay once again we have all time in the world of tanks we do not need to panic here we are just uh, looking for opportunities and and we are straight up waiting until someone will make a silly goose mistake i think on this line, intuition is one of the most important skills because you are going to switch between ammunition quite often and that is completely fine and that is completely all right now patience is the most important thing patience 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 we have some mother truckers that can support us whenever we are spotting enemy forces and this is what we need we are feeling all right we are feeling gucci 900 assisting damage soon uh when we are going to get um over 1,000, and whenever we are going to get uh, over 1,000 uh, assisting damage, our tank as well will become better. This is this is exactly what we are looking for, and this is exactly what we need, fellas. Take it slowly and have a great time. I'm loading the AP ammunition or the standard ammunition, I suppose to say, currently, uh, just because I don't really see that many of the paper tanks playing in this area. So we need to be smart as well. I don't care about this side anymore. I am loading high explosive ammunition and I'm going like this. Now, Skill, I have a question. Why would you do something like that? That's a great question. You see this Borat? Borat has full hit points. And there is a huge chance I am going to get close. I will flank him and I will clip the living crap out of this gentleman. This is all I care about at the moment. I am like a bloody hunter that seeks for lightly armored tanks. That's all I am trying to do in this situation. And now we are very, very close. Ah, Borat is running away. Doesn't really matter, does it? Conqueror, I see Conqueror. We are just having some fun. 
slapping the living crap out of this mother tracker just like so good 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 uh hopefully we can get some assisting damage from the t30 yes we can i am making sure that i am going to be uh, spotting this guy right that's exactly what we are looking for and hopefully that our team will eliminate him from the game okay he's eliminated that's nice now what is this other step that we could do here more i think about it more i just want to go like so look this is how you are playing with this tank i know it's crazy i know it's weird but look what is the difference borat hit me twice he did 700 damage and he did that with ease Meanwhile, I need to expose myself for such a long time in order to get any use whatsoever in this situation, right? Plus, I'm not even talking about the pre-aiming towards the enemies because I need to pre-aim properly as well. If I do not pre-aim, it is kind of a game over and I can eat kaku, right? So, another thing to highlight. The difficulty of this vehicle is out of this world, fellas. Difficulty... Of this tank is absolutely insane and not only this tank this class i would say now i'm going to load the high explosive ammunition and the main reason why do i want to have high explosive ammunition on because i want to flank his ass he is even ignoring me i mean look at him look at him he doesn't even care about me he's saying you know what i don't even give a shit about you this is literally what he is saying uh, it wasn't the smartest choice to load high explosives i'm not going to pretend i'm not going to lie it is definitely the case it was very very um, very bad decision from my side which is okay it's fair enough mistakes were made we cannot complain about that look how much job how much effort we put into this game and we have 2.2 thousand you see what i'm talking about now i know some folks are going to ask skill if it is so hard to play with this tank and it's uh, not the finest one why is it rated um, three stars which is average the main reason why i went with the three stars in this particular situation is Pretty much the fun factor is huge whenever you are playing with the tanks like this. At least this is how I look into this. It is truly huge. And in the same time, whenever you are meeting the lower tiers, what is happening in the lower tiers? There is more and more and more tanks without armor. Or you can simply penetrate everyone without aim, right? On the higher tiers, even though the playstyle is still the same with the tier 9 and tier 10 of the Czechoslovakian light tanks, you are meeting the tanks with bigger amount of the armor. And bigger amount of the armor means less efficiency for you, unless you are finding the Scorpion or Grille or uh, 4005, but it's not easy. Trust me, fellas, it is not easy whatsoever. Meanwhile, 1.3 thousand damage, 2.8 thousand assisting damage. I'm feeling fine with this game. Luckily, we fixed it in the end and we got 25 thousand profits. That's great. That's fine. Now, so far, just to let you know, fellas, our session, how our session looks like compared to my average score with this tank. We are, play, we are having godlike session at this point. Overall, I play with this tank for 1.3 thousand damage and 1.2 thousand assisting damage. Obviously, a lot of testing involved. Now, in this video, we are playing for 1.9 thousand damage and 2.3 thousand assisting damage. So, we are slaughtering it. This is a good session with this tank, believe me or not. Crazy. Okay, last but not least, we have Overlord Standard Battle. Excuse me, are you driving in front? Good. Tank is driving in front. Excellent. So... What do we want to do? We want to place somewhere here in the middle. And from the middle we will try to outspot mother trackers while having CVS on. And overall we will try to punish every and each mother tracker when we have a chance. By spotting them and by doing damage. Now this is a perfect case scenario to showcase the weakness of this tank. 
Skill I do not understand. If you are playing here with any other light tank, you are going to do guaranteed damage whenever you are spotting someone, right? So it happened to be that you spotted budget AP, you are playing with whatever, um, with whatever other tank. You are going to be able to do, oh, greediness, greediness, Woo. You are going to be able to do like 200 damage or something like this, depending on the alpha damage. Do you see how long do I need to keep myself exposed for 264 damage? It is insanity, fellas. For how long do I need to stay in the open field to get at least a bit of the use in this situation? That is absolutely nuts. And imagine that. You are playing with other light tank, you are slapping someone and you are instantly running away. The chance of other light tank or whatever else tank punishing you is very, very little or very, very low. Now, with this tank, greedier you get more chance there is that you are going to get, uh, or higher chance there is that you are going to get punished. It's just how it goes, not much what you can change about that. But... That is satisfying. That is satisfying. Skill how much damage you have done. Not enough. Not enough. From the whole clip, 400 damage isn't great, okay? But you know what? That was a lot of a lot of a lot of fun. I can tell you that much. That was a lot of a lot of fun. I am paying attention to the forces that we may slap. I am paying attention at this, don't you worry. Oh my, this is going to be glorious. Okay. Greedy. Yeah. Greediness, greediness, greediness. Ay, 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 ay. I'm telling you, fellas, with this tank, it's so hard not to be greedy. You need to be patient. You need to be able to do the things properly. And this is pure greediness. I see there, Hashem. Hashem has no armor. I have high explosive clip loaded, and I want that happiness. You know, I want. I just want to eliminate him. Anyways, good, good. It is not so simple to play with this tank, fellas. This is this is the day-to-day -day situation or this is day-to-day -day life whenever you are playing with the tanks like this. And that's okay, fellas. This is a good highlight. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, fellas. I hope you had a great time together with us. Um, I hope you had a blast because I enjoyed making this video and I really want to highlight this that this tank class or overall this lane is going to be super unforgiving. Uh, it's not the most competitive line, but it is going to be a lot of fun to play with if you can um, do the things properly, right? So that is something. After two games, our, our score was... Amazing, the third game never happened and I love you all. Thank you very much for watching, skill is out for today. Peace.